Welcome to Lisa Marin Art. We're gonna have some fun today. I have purchased two new little hair dryers. Um, originally, I bought them for when I do Dutch pours because I lost the yellow attachment to the flower um, hair dryer. And as you know, you guys like made them sell out everywhere. So they're like $150 on Amazon. Anyways, so I got two new little guys. Let me show you. The first one I got, I'm, the only reason I got it was because in the description it said like travel hair dryer and fluid art. Oh, look at this color. Hold on. Um, no, these lights are so crazy. Eeks. Hold on. Um, so why not? It's a, it's a, it's a thousand watts mini blow dryer, metallic black. It's called MHU rubber comfort finish. Sure. Okay. So I thought it'd be fun to try this out with my Dutch pour paints that I've been using um, in the last couple videos. And look what I found. I found the baby sister, the Babyless Pro. I found her baby sister. Isn't that cute? Look, I mean, you can't tell. This is my baby. So this is what I use. I really enjoy my Babyless. Um, when I'm doing big stuff, it has like a little smaller nozzle. Anyways, so I thought, why not? She might be too intense. Oh, it says, so it's 1500. Now, what's crazy is some, some, um, there's like 1800 ones, aren't, don't blow as hard as other 1800 ones. So I don't really believe anybody when they say anything about numbers, you know what I mean? Because I also think that the flower one might be 1800, but it's like not very intense. So what I figured, like how cute is she? And look, oh my God, she like goes like this. Okay, what I, paint fell, this one. What I figured I'd do is I'm gonna use each one in my, with my Dutch pours, and then why not do, try, if I like one of them, then I'll do it with my bloom. It's very hard to find a dryer, as you know. So let's do it. Okay, I got a 14 inch here. So I've plugged them both in and I have an idea of who will work better, but let's see. So this one uh, has a cool shot. My baby list does not. Let's listen to the low. I don't know if you can tell the difference, um, but let's listen. Okay. Compared to the low of this, So you can tell the baby list is stronger, which might not be great for what we're looking for. And especially the cool shot does help. So the baby list on the low, it is hot. So hmm, maybe she's too good for fluid art, but let's not to get carried away, okay? Um, I wonder, should I try the baby list first and then go for the one that I think will work better? Fine, let's do it. Okay, so I have my base paint mixed. Now again, so a couple of videos ago, I showed you how I mix them and what I'm looking for. As you know, measuring for me doesn't really work because every day, if your paint sit out, everything changes. So I do my circle test, okay, and I look for about a second before it sinks. Uh, so that's a good thing to do. Okay. Um, let's lay this down. Why don't we, let's see. I do see a bit of yuckies I'm gonna have to get out, but, okay. And I do see some boobles. I like that I can freely torch um, my boobles with this paint. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to, oh, hmm. I don't know actually, because so already you can see the paint's not moving very easily because my paint is a bit thicker. Um, so I'm wondering if um, 
the other one might not be strong enough. Hmm, you see? Okay. So, let's make sure our, everything is covered nicely. So, the colors that I'm using, by the way, are the ones that I mixed up two videos ago. Um, and I'll try to remember them for you. Okay. So, are we ready? I think so. That, now I have to start thinking about shapes and everything else, you know, all that stressful stuff. Okay, enough of that. I'm already getting my guys messy. All right, so with this square, hmm, you know what I mean? With this square, uh, should I just do a, I'll just do like a bloom bloom, right? Okay, so I'm going to start with this. All oh, right, I can see the shine. So this I started with Prussian blue, and then I added some ir um, interference, I think it was golden, interference blue, to give it a little, you know, a little something something. Oh, let me make sure. All right, so I'm going to start here, and I'm going to go, Blue, okay. Then I'm gonna go blue, All right? Okay, this is a custom one I made with some sort of Amsterdam pink, something, quinacridone, light, whatever. <laughs> I added white to it to make it lighter, okay? All right. Blue and blue. All right. Doing good. <laughs> this, oh, I also made uh, with an Amsterdam, and then I added, um, to make it deeper, I added violet ink to it. All right. Let me just get some of these bloopity blue. There's a lot of bloops in this, and that's fine by me. Okay, and here we go. Blue, blue, okay, blue. All right, now I do have this orange, which I rarely use. Um, I might just do like a little drop here and there for funsies, you know what I mean? Why don't I do it in the middle? Loop. I don't know. Just a little bit. Let's not get carried away. All right. Oh my god, I have to do this all two times? I don't know if I have the patience for Dutch pores. Okay. <laughs> now we have one of my favorite colors I used to use a lot. It's a gouache and it's Liquitex gouache fluorescent violet. It's such a fun color. Oh, I meant to do this first. All right, that's what I'll do. Yeah, okay. Never mind, a 24 karat gold. I wanted to put it over the dark, but I forgot. So I don't want to go crazy with the gold. Um, also, I don't want it to interact too much with the blue because it makes it kind of green, you know? Okay, now we will go with this. Okay. Now, I do wish I had my white in a squeezy bottle. I ran out of bottles. Actually, maybe I have one more. I'm gonna try not to be messy. Okay, this is Amsterdam turquoise green or something. I don't wanna to do too much because it's opaque. So you gotta be always aware of that kind of stuff, I think, no matter what pour you do. Okay, now. Um, we have our colors down. Isn't that fun? Um, what should I do? Should I do the good one or we don't know? E eeks, eeks. I don't know. Okay, I'll start, I'll start with the baby, like I said. So first, I am going to put a bit more white. You know how we do it. Just so she has something to blow over. Obviously... I should be using a squeezy. 
And you know what? I am going to put a bit of white. Dipply do, just like that. Okay. Because why not? Okay, are you ready? I am going to blow over first. Low. Okay, yep. Looking good. Hold on. I'm doing a little dance. Okay. Now I don't, the problem is because there's no cool, I don't want to like burn my paint. You know what I mean? But we're gonna do it. Okay. Ready? Uh, hmm. Oops, I don't know. Not so shab. Now I just have to figure out what shape I want her to be. Yeah. That worked much better than expected. Um, hmm. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to like zhuzh things up a bit, but we have some cute cells. I kind of like the shape. Um, you know, let me do a quick close up so you can see what I mean. All right, so we have these guys over here and it blew out pretty nicely if you ask me right so let's think about what we're gonna zhuzh up i'm not even sure i want to touch it that much to be honest um you know what i mean i do just have to put a bit of paint here like you know normally I might swirly whirly or something like that but no she doesn't really need much of that does she like I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed with myself <laughs> I gotta say wowie um okay so you know i am just gonna do one little spin okay just to make sure all these edges are off and it doesn't like go over the edge too much to distort oh, hold on come on there's some really cool colors and stuff happening um So there. All right, well, my girlfriend's little sister really did a good job for us. Uh, okay, so let me put her away and then let's see if the other one that claims to be for fluid art, I'm just gonna get the edges so they don't pull away, um, does the same. I'll be right back. Okay, let's try, I wouldn't know how to pronounce this, the Mahu, Mahu, Mahu. Okay. Holy cow! 
Let's do the same thing. Maybe I'll get two sisters out of it. So I'm assuming because that one worked so well. Now remember, my paints are a bit thicker, right? So um, if you have thinner paints than this, uh, although it would still work nicely, I just find it was like a very nice consistency and it didn't really hurt. The heat didn't really hurt that much, right? Okay, we're just gonna go like this, gonna go like this, right? Gonna go like this. Um, gonna go like this. Nice, nice. I'm just gonna go a little faster than last time because who has, who has all day, <laughs> right? Um, I did see a little schmooze. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna do the same thing and then hopefully we can get like a cool, you know what I mean? Um, okay, so, just wiping my hands a little bit. I got a little carried away. Okay, get those boob lays. So, now we have the blue. I'm gonna do the samesies, samesies. Oh, I should open her up, okay. Bloop, and remember, I gotta say bloop because that's what I did last time, bloop. All right, then I'm gonna go the Amsterdam. Okay. And then we're gonna go the red violet situation. We're going a little faster, so we're getting a little hectic. I should slow down a bit. Okay. And we have the gold. Oh, well, remember last time I put the orange first? Let's do that. Orange, orange. Okay. Gold. 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 Nice. Nice. And a little bit doopity do. Doopity do, right? Not too much. Doopity do. All right. Let us see. Oh, we have to do the white. Okay. Do a little white. Not enough, is it? Doop. Fix this a little bit. Doop. <laughs> Tell me, guys, what do you think of uh, my Dutch pours, by the way? You know, I haven't been doing them very long because I've been so focused on the bloom. But, you know, this year for me, 2024, it's about doing all the things. So I want to do. Okay. Here we go. Moo. Okay. I wonder. Oh, this. Ugh. Okay. All right, let's try on the low, and I'm going to hold the cool shot, okay? You know what, though? It's very hard to hold the cool shot holding, holding it this way. Okay. Listen, it's working nicely. Look at that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, it's a little, it's not as fast, but it's not horrible. And I don't mind going slower because it's cool shot, so it's not like cooking my paints, you know what I mean? But still. All right, it's a little, it takes a little, uh, a little longer to work. Let me put a little bit white right there. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, ready? Okay. I'm really shaping my leaves the way I want them to go. And I'm aiming, trying to aim 
the paint where I want it to go. Okay. Uh, this part's boring me, but d don't get discouraged yet. But that could just be my fault and not the hair dryer's fault. This one is definitely more boring. Let me just try to fix some shapes a little bit. You know what I mean? Mm. It's an orange area. Okay. Uh, weird. Definitely not as flowy. What am I even looking at? You know what I mean? So my first blowout was fine. This is ugly. This is ugly, this is ugly. Yeah, okay, let's turn her off for a minute. Okay, let's discuss. So, in terms of the actual hair dryer, I think it works just fine, okay? Um, and especially if your paints are thinner, it's a good one. I think, because this was my first blow and it was totally fine, right? I think I just went haywire with my aim. Um, so, and it's not as vibrant. No, it's vibrant. It's not as, it's not as good as the first one I made. Um, I could fix it. I'm going to fix it or try. Okay. So we know, uh, okay, I'm looking at it this way and it's just too much. I over blew the white. Okay. I like the shape. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, hmm, <laughs> I'm gonna try to put a little, now my, this might be bad, okay? But I'm gonna try to bring some of this color that I didn't blow, okay? I'm gonna try to get some more color and blow this out. Okay. Um, those two should be fine. Let's see if I could do that. Okay, I got more color there. Okay, got more color there. Let's keep going. Uh, a little more blue here. Okay. All right, we're definitely fixing the color issue. Um, let's do more pink and 
thing here. Okay. So my goal is to go this way. Okay. She's going, she's going. Right, you see what I mean? It's getting better. Um, and we just have to fix this area here. But I don't mind, there's just something about it. Like I don't mind the shape, let me turn this off a second. I don't mind it, here look. I don't mind the shape that's going on down here. It's just the color doesn't look as good. Do you know what I mean? This is what I love about Dutch pours. You really can conti continue to work and take your time a little bit. If there's a problemo, you know what I mean? Okay, so what do I wanna do with this though? Um, I could use a bit more gold. Okay, I'm gonna do, oh, I'm gonna do a bit of gold here, okay. I'm going to do some of this. Okay. There we go. Ooh, it locks a lot, so I can run away. Okay. I am happier with her already, okay? Uh, we are gonna zhuzh her up a bit, and then we're gonna see how she looks. Let me get a popsicle stick. We're gonna see how she looks with her sister to see, um, you know, if they fit together or not. Okay, first of all, this little thing is bothering me here. Okay. All right, um, like I don't even mind this part. Um, I don't mind her at all. This part's a bit, still a bit yucky. Okay, much better, in my opinion, than what was before, right? Uh, so, now, am I just leaving it the way it is? Maybe, I don't like this little thing here. Um, let's see, oopsie. Okay, let's do a close up, and then let's put them together, so tell me, what do you think? I'm actually happy with both of them, to be honest. Um, there's like pros and cons to each one. So definitely the cool shot is nice in this one. Uh, the strength is nice in this one, but it's not too overpowering if your paints are a little thicker. Like I would use this for a little bloom maybe. Um, although this too, because it has a cool shot. So anyways, let me know your thoughts. A, do you like my... Dutch pours. B, which one do you think will work better? And C, do you want me to do more Dutch pours? Because I, I could if you like them. Love you guys. Bye.
I just wanted to talk about the dried results now that we've had time, first of all. I love these colors. So this was the first one. And something that I didn't notice, the difference was, um, the edges of the second one are, um, I guess because of the shape of the blowy thing, they're more jagged, which isn't bad, but it just looks different than the flowy of what you're used to. So I think my vote's gonna be the Baby Bliss, Babyless, um, I think, but I love the cute little cells and everything, right? Which is cute, if you ask me. All right, let me know what you guys think. Bye.